the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, who were with the civil society organizations, seek partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture of FCT Universal Basic Education Board, UBEB, and Federal Road Safety uh, Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, to roll out programs for youth on the streets who have no means of survival for livelihood. In a press briefing commemorating the International Human Rights Day in Abuja, CSOs expressed concern for the internally displaced persons whose rights also count so Nigeria can be a better place for citizens. Now here's more details. International Human Rights Day is celebrated every 10th December, stating the freedom of every citizen. It is being observed that human rights has become an issue as the right of individuals is being trampled upon. The civil society organization reiterates that the right of individuals should be defended and protected. According to stakeholders, it was revealed that ways to promote rights of citizens is to ensure that the people enjoy peace and safety. The need to defend the fundamental rights of citizens is the, the mainstay of governance. If any country that does not promote, protect, nurture, and upgrade or mainstream the respect of the fundamental rights of citizens into the political governance system, that country is a first state. There is a general democratization of violence in Nigeria. Violence is all over the place, insecurity. People no longer enjoy the freedom of movement, freedom of uh, right to life, which is quite important, very important. The most important right, right to life, section 31 of the constitution talks about the right to life. A lot of Nigerians do not enjoy the right to life. You have a lot of cases of police brutality. Also, other stakeholders say internally displaced persons in the FCT and vulnerable individuals are being looked after to ensure these people are being helped in terms of education, food, and empowerment. First, in the in um, FCT, you, you can bear with me that um, we have um, a department or an agency that handles IDPs. That is the Refugee Commission. And we have been working hand in hand with them. The Honorable Minister of State has tried as much as possible to reach out to these people. On her directives, we find out that these people are on the streets. We call them touts, but they're on the street because they're hungry. We find out that they fight because of 200 naira, 300 naira from all these taxes. Okay, how do we take them off to the streets? We told them we want you to go to school. And some of them said, no, we don't want to go to school. So what we did, we rolled out a program whereby we will have raw food. We call it food bank. Then they will take them off the street, register them in the school through the help of UBEB. What UBEB does, if you attend classes for two weeks, you are entitled to a raw food bag that will take you for another two weeks. Stakeholders further enjoin Nigerian government to implement human rights law in the country. From the nation's capital, Mavis Ako. Captain TV News.